Oh dear, we're back here again. An empty tank. What is going on? Well, it's the same drill as last time actually. Because we still do have some critters. That needs to stand upright. That needs to stand upright because we have a frog. Well, I hope we still got a frog. I'd put the frog into a bucket. The tadpoles. I think he's okay, but we won't know until we uh, check it out. Right, here we go. This is the old water that has been filtered. The handy towels. So all the tadpole shit's gone. Well, a lot of solid cap options. Voila! Where are the tap poles? Uh oh. I might have jumped out. Where do they go? I think we've got an issue. Or do we? I had to put them into a different bucket. In fact, I've got three tadpoles and a frog. Hope the frog doesn't jump too soon. Damn, I can't even get the. Let's have a look. We'll put it this way. Please, froggy, don't jump out. Whoa, there was one. That was all of them. Ah, oh, the frog's in there. Oh, there he goes. That was lucky. He could have jumped anywhere. Here's a snail. They still seem to have survived. And here's another snail. And uh, same old drill. There's not much water in there now. So, some distilled water. It's a frog, you can probably see him running around. Not sure if they're thrilled with all this. You can certainly see a lot more now. You know what? That's all I'm going to put in. Given the traumatic experience, we are going to give them some food. Some stuff that Julie made down the last few batches. Let's go and have a look at the critters. Let's see if we can spot them. Well, there's a the snails, and that's the one that everybody wants to see. That's the frog. Not very active, but he's alive, I think. Froggy. Maybe he's stunned. Maybe he's got his leg stuck. I don't know. He seems okay. There's uh, another tadpole down in the corner. And another tadpole in that corner. Oh, another, uh, another one in that corner. They're kind of um, marking up their space. I'm not sure where the remaining tadpole is. But there you have it.